commanders treat Russian soldiers like cattle, they are in terrible conditions. The Russians have released footage of the appalling conditions in which the command of the occupying army is keeping soldiers and seriously wounded soldiers. The video was released by the Russian occupier Yehor Guzenko, also known by the nickname The 13th. The Militani media outlet reported this. The occupiers showed one of the basements on the territory of the occupied Donetsk region where Russian officers keep their own soldiers who have committed crimes against the command. According to the source, among the occupiers kept in terrible conditions, there are many wounded as well as disabled people without limbs. They keep everyone like cattle. The wounded, the disabled, mobs, contrabass players. Who for what? For the fact that he sent some major Kovalev or for the fact that they are chased, they are made into crippled regiments. And do you know why? Because there are not enough people, complains the occupier Guzenko, who is fighting for Russian peace. The video itself shows a dirty and damp basement room without windows in which an unspecified number of Russian soldiers are housed. Some of them really have no limbs or are lying with injuries. The author of the video calls the premises in which Russian soldiers are kept a pigsty. Improvised beds made of wooden pallets and covered with rags are fenced with bars. He accuses the 1st Slavic Brigade, which was formed by Russia in the occupied territories in 2014, of lawlessness. Presumably, she is responsible for this object in this message. Guzenko stated that all the information about the places of detention, along with their coordinates, was handed over to the Russian military prosecutor as well as employees of the department, which will turn those responsible inside out. He also noted that this is not the only video from such places, implying that if the problems are ignored, they will also be made public. This is not the first time that the Russian military has complained about the existence of similar places of detention for violators of order or those who have committed crimes before the command. Earlier, the publication Astra reported that it had found 15 such objects in the occupied territories of Ukraine. According to their information, such sellers operate illegally as, according to the law, in case of violations, Russian servicemen must go to the guardhouse only after drawing up a detention report. In this case, they are not stored. Besides, such objects cannot be located in basements. The International Criminal Court, based in The Hague, has issued arrest warrants for former Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and current Chief of the General Staff of the Russian Armed Forces Valery Gerasimov in connection with the commission of war crimes during the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The official website of the International Criminal Court reports this. As the report notes, there are reasonable grounds to believe that Shoigu and Gerasimov bear individual criminal responsibility for war crimes committed by the Russian army in Ukraine, attacks on civilian objects, causing excessive incidental harm to civilians or civilian objects, crimes against humanity in the form of inhumane actions. There are reasonable grounds to believe that the two suspects are responsible for Russian military missile attacks on Ukrainian electrical infrastructure from at least October 10, 2022 to at least March 9, 2023. During this time, in addition, Russian military forces carried out large numbers of attacks on numerous power plants and substations in many places in Ukraine, the report said. The Office of the President of Ukraine has already responded to the International Criminal Court decision. Shoigu and Gerasimov bear individual responsibility. An important decision. Everyone will be responsible for evil, wrote the head of Zelensky's office Andrei Ermak in Telegram. Verkhovna Rada Commissioner for Human Rights Dmitry Lubinitz congratulated the International Criminal Court decision. Justice for Ukraine is becoming more and more real. This is a very important decision for us. Sooner or later, fair punishment will overtake every war criminal. Only through joint efforts can we speed this up, he emphasized.